Skylines. The Skyline GTR. Okay, so you have to kind of walk me through this because I've always known like the Skyline, you could buy it and you could import it and buy it in the US, right? There's like places in California where you live where you can buy them and import them. But what was the regulation? Like what was the problem this whole time? So, so the R34, the one in Fast and Furious that Paul Walker drove, Fast and Furious 2, was it? Um, 32, yeah. Yeah, the, the one that basically everybody wanted um, was was only spec'd uh, in Japan. It did not pass um, the U.S. safety standards, so it was illegal to import it. Uh, as a as a regular U.S. vehicle, so okay. um, the the only way you saw them in the U.S. there was a classic car and a show car um, license you could get. So you know it, it really limited the number of them. I think there was like twenty five of them that were, were truly allowed to come into the U.S. But they were only limited to to and from car shows. And I think it was something like. 250 miles a year that you could drive it so you, and the it, regulations were, were like the bumper or airbags or whatever it was yeah i mean i don't i think it it could pass it just never actually was so submitted as to to pass the safety standards in the u.s so it was a oh, japanese wow. car it just never made its way so it, you know, it was it's a right hand drive car um, but they never came stateside and that was a car obviously after fast first everybody wanted that car you just you just couldn't get it here um, and then, and then this month, January is the 25-year mark um, where it qualifies uh, for import without that inspection. So it's 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 technically a classic car now. So you can now legally drive it around in the United States. attention to this market you know for the pretty much since covid people have been stockpiling these r34s in japan storing them cleaning them up upgrading them and then waiting at the port for this month the so, prices are insane yeah that's what i was going to talk about like so anything 1999 older the model you can year. now legally right model year you can legally import into the u.s no restrictions and you're good to go so that so people are talking about like the this is what the r34 yep that's the r34 and that's a gtr right like yes godzilla so you can bring them in right so before fast and furious i don't remember like i remember growing up and and like this car was I remember seeing this car, and I remember because we were into cars, right? The real passion for it, you're right, with the movie, it kind of kicked off. And everyone was like, I want this car. The sound, I mean, honestly, I think the sound of that car is unparalleled. Like, it just sounds so good. Yeah. Um, and, and everybody saw that movie and wanted that car and, and kind of, like, dreamed of having that car. People that were 16, 17 years old dreaming about this car, you know, now they probably can afford the car. But like now that this thing has picked up yeah. the COVID car craze, those prices double triple. I think a couple of them sold for, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs>